Hello everyone, my name is Jay, and this is Jurassic World Evolution, and today we are going on to island numero tres, Taco Island! There's another island near no, wait. here. No, wait. Isla Takano. Is built over the bones of an abandoned one. Spared no expense, as Hammond would say. A biological preserve. Yeah, you may have heard about it. At least, the stuff that wasn't classified. Whoa, look at all that red. They're almost two million dollars in debt. No wonder they broke down. Island. It didn't go very well for them. But here's your opportunity to succeed where they failed. You'll need to carefully consider how to make money if you want to turn this into a profitable endeavor. And you do. Trust me. All right, then. First things first. We must destroy anything that is unnecessary. Everything has to go. The monorail needs to go. The monorail has to go. Well, for starters, the, the, the that visitors that cool visitor center has, or, or has the innovation center has to go. Mm, what else? Oh, and now we need to connect the power line, and then we need we need to get power lines running throughout the entire thing, so we can hey, we, let's not waste any electricity. We are going to need if we attract customers. Let's go, go, go! Come on, people, we got a schedule to keep. Next, we, we start adding new dinosaurs. Since we are still short on money, I'm just doing with the cheapest one possible, the Struffio Mimus. Granted, I'm at, I've up, I'm given some upgrades to them so they can attract more customers, but that's not the point. The point is, this is a, a worthwhile investment. Make enough of them, and it'll attract the crowd. For, but first, I need at first I need to build a a large enough fence. Okay, now you guys are our la are the new hope for this park. Which is why I have named our first, I'm going to name our first two, Luke and Leia. And all are the characters from Star Wars. So yeah, Luke. He was the first one born, right? Yeah, he was the first, yeah, he was first born. Next, these buildings have got to go. They are taking, they are not earning me any money, they're just taking up space and electricity. I don't need them. Goodbye. Buh bye bye I can build more buildings later. Bye. Bye. Okay, the bar can. All right, the bar can stay for now. No, wait, no, wait. Psych, it's gone. And as you can see, I have added an expedition center and a ranger station, so I can improve my fo the Gina owns of my fossils and my and take care of the dinosaurs. Extra money, but I need, but I need to make it work. Every space on this island counts. Especially considering how narrow the island is, which doesn't make sense. I mean, look at it. There's an entire or sec another section of the island of those islands that we can build. Why do they? Why do they not have us do that? For that matter, why is it sand? I've looked at the sandbox and why is it not that any bigger? Should be bigger. Whatevs, whatevs. The but at least uh, at least the revenue is starting to come back. Now it is. Let's splur. Let's spend a little bit on a new innovation center. Yeah, I know. I just got. I mean, I know I just got rid of it like two clips ago, but this is worth it. It'll bring in the revenue, and my tour, and thanks to my high-level tourism. I think this was the smart play for the science division. So I'm. Also, the, also, I've been trying to get on everyone's good sides. Lovies. You'll see. The rainbows. Oh, mission time! I apologize in advance. I, I cannot hear. I, the audio went all wonky. Doctor Wu, Doctor Du, um, uh, Doctor Dua, you do know that he is bad news, right? I don't like him. He's mean. He's a slippery little s devil. He's doing what?
They're animals. We can make more. I wasn't talking about them. There are human lives at stake. And wait, did she just call her barf? Oh, this is serious. And I've come to the conclusion that the only thing that might be as dangerous and cold-blooded as the dinosaurs is this man that helped Hammond bring them back. Yeah, that guy is ice cold. Freaks me the hell out. Fine. We'll play his game, though. Fart. But first, we need to build some enclosures. And this, in this clip, you will see me building an enclosure for my Velociraptors. Far away from, far away from any guests and from the many other dinosaurs that they may hurt. This will keep them, they'll be nice and safe here. Oh wait, correction, they'll be safe, they, the park will be safe from them because they will kill everything else. Now let's just gotta realign it, adjust it. Make some adjustments, and, and, ah, there we go. Now, let it not be said, let it not be said that I am not ambitious. This is going to be my biggest paddock ever, of all time. Why? Because this, I have been, this has been something I've been wanting to do since I first got here. You see, I've just added a, a huge artificial river, plus, th plus some ferns, trees, plants, all to simulate an actual dinosaur habitat as close and realistic as possible in a wide open plain where they can't be bothered. I don't even know why I put the fence up there. It's it just for funsies, I guess. Just to make sure they don't try and escape by going off the cliff. Now some more trees. All right then, let's bring our star new star attraction out. There she is, a fully grown Diplodocus. Those attendance stats. Nice work. And I believe that neck is almost 15 feet long. Oh, and she's almost as long as the tail. Same for the tail. T the tail's slightly less longer too. Dear God, the the muscles they ha must have had on that. The muscles they must have had on the neck. It must have been incredible in order to be able to hold up that kind of weight. Sauropods are truly amazing. When look at her. She's magnificent. Oh, and she's cranky. Um, I need to name her something. I'm gonna call you Alpha, the first. Don't worry, Alpha. I will get you. And don't worry, Alpha. One, I'm going to be making more. There's going to be more of your friends joining you. And two, um, I'm adding more forests. Don't worry. You got plenty of room. <laughs> You'll be just fine. Fine, just fine. Fine, 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 just fine, fine, fine. fine. Oh, jeez. Another dinosaur is dead. Be right back. All right, so now I've got. All right, so here are the are my star, other star attractions, the Velociraptors. I've this is just the first one, but I am at. But I've had like four more, three more in reserve, so that we can fold our fully fledged packs. So they will not try and do anything stupid and like escape and wreak havoc in the park. Wait, the mission wants me to do what? Put them below their comfort threshold. Is Doctor Ruth freaking insane? That's a liable. That is a recipe for disaster. <sighs> Whatever. There. All right. There. I hope you're happy, Doctor Wu. If anyone dies, I'm a. Re I'm throwing you in prison. I'm gonna throw you to the T-Rex as soon as I make one. I cut down all the trees in the he's in the Lost Raptor paddock, so they you can't hide anywhere. Now they will be incredibly unhappy. Just, just, just give it a moment. Just give it a moment. They'll be, they'll be unhappy soon enough, and then they'll start. Snapping and pissing and and growing at the doors and the gates and the things. Huh, what the hell? No, uh, wait. Oh, 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 there we go. Yep. Like I said, <laughs> you're gonna escape. Does Dr. Wu have no morals or ethics? It feels like he's very immoral. He's the one who created the Indominus Rex and deliberately designed it to be a weapon of mass destruction. And now we have this. Good thing. All right, boys. Holler in. We got ourselves four. Oh, was a couple of runners. 
All right, all right. I capture the I capture the pack, and they're back inside. Just five more seconds to go, and then I can turn things back to normal. There we go. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Look, I'm going to make you see, see, better, better. Uh oh. <laughs> she's gonna break. She's breaking through. Oh, damn it! Damn it. Ugh, come on, guys. We. Guys, the raptors are out again. Let's get them before they eat anyone. Okay, so the best thing I could do was put the Diplodocus inside of the thing. I have a smaller cage. And you know what? I actually, it's actually worked. And she actually managed to get out once once in between clips, but I think I did a good job. Now I have mono. Now I have monorail back in. Monorail. Doctor Wu has his results and considers the complete. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. Now Doctor Wu's gaze is out. Why do we hire him? Why do we hire him? All right, let's get these guys back to where they belong. Come on, Alpha. Come on. All right. Just lower, lower, steady, steady. Uh, just, just, okay, guys, don't don't focus on. There we go. Don't worry, don't worry, Alpha. You're back safe and sound. Where where the meat where that mean man can't hurt you. Mr. Wu can't hurt you anymore. Yep, you're safe and healthy, and away from any predators. You're perfectly fine. Also, Wu, you suck. You're you're like you're like an animal rights activist worst nightmare come true. Hopefully those specimens aren't too traumatized after this. Thanks for not losing your head back there. This could so easily have gone Trust. Wrong. Oh trust me. So oh trust me. I have still have a bone to pick with this guy. And drama among the eggheads? A real PhD throwdown, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I missed it. Trust me, you're not sorry you missed it. It was a really heated battle. People almost died. Or they did die. I can't keep track. I can't I don't know how to keep track of the casualties in this park. Come to think of it, how are we not pre if if a one person dies due to our negligence, does that mean we all go to jail for criminal for criminal negligence or something? We gotta stop making predators. Ah oh, well, the park marches on. Okay, next. Oh no no. Oh I was. Oh wait no wait yes yes. Yes. And we get those cool gyro spear thingies. Okay, I'll trade you. Um, I just need a clone of Myasora and um purse and the duck. Duck man, the, aunt, the man that only loves, the duck that only loves. So the way I look at it now is, they hate us because they ate us. And who are we? We are the rainmakers, the producers, the entertainers. We bring this place to life as much as the dinosaurs. So that is what we're gonna do. Acknowledging request for feeder resupply. All right, so here's the challenge. What do people like to see? Something new. And that's a problem when the star attractions are all hundreds of millions of years old. So we got to give them something new. Start by researching some cosmetic mods and let's see what we can come up with. A surprise -asaurus. These animals are serious creatures and impressive as nature created them. Don't try and turn them into unicorns. Okay. Based on your latest research, we should be able to have some new dinos that reflect these cosmetic modifications of yours. Then we'll see if it was worth it. Woohoo! <laughs> new dinosaurs! Exciting! The guests will love it. Well, that was quick. Thank goodness I did all that stuff off screen. And then no one died again. Wait, 
But I guess they should come for false alarm the, the alarm though and also tell and also tell them uh, Let's oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah now I remember I believe one of the guy the other divisions sabotaged me to an early grave around these animals follow the protocols First up, so we need to research genetic modifications you're w you what you want me to what on the dinosaurs specific traits their aggression attack rating and so on man those angle oh sources are really antisocial and us alone copy that Lambert what are you doing word, you tell me what you're doing right now or you're fired you hear me I will fire your specific. I will fire your ass and have someone else replace you someone oh, who will not what, kiss what Wu's ass dinosaurs? I seriously hope that you know what you're doing because I know I know and I survived it it's something that you cannot yet say oh I've seen you survive it twice yeah these things are dangerous if we done if we're not handled properly why are we we shouldn't be All right, we got our subject, and he is cranky as hell. Keep my people safe, or you answer to me. Guess which one is easier. That's my job, Doctor. Yes, it is. So do it. Does anyone, t Doctor Wu? Does anyone ever tell you that you're a huge Rick? No, I actually, Rick is more enjoyable than you. You're just a cold-hearted dirtbag. At least Rick's fun about his cynicism, cynicism, and doesn't make a secret. And that he doesn't and doesn't make a secret that he doesn't care about anyone, or rather, he does it in a very funny way. Oh, oh, God damn! No, not again! Get back! Get back here, you! Ugh. Security! We got another dinosaur on the loose. The the dining who's it's all Dr. Wu's fault. I blame it all on him. Can I throw him in j Is it possible that at the end of this, we this game we could throw him in jail? Because I would really want to see him. Because I think he should uh, be pre he charged as a criminal for all his behavior. For all he's done. Not just tampering with the laws of nature. Trampling on the laws of nature. I'm talking about... Wait. Is it... No! Oh, no! I thought it was gonna solve itself! Damn it! <sighs> so I finally got the Dionychus back in the pen. And, and now, just one more second. Just one more. <sighs> Hallelujah, folks! Hallelujah! Raise your hands and thank heavens. I knew there were times when we would be straying into morally ambiguous territory, right? I mean, we're managing wildlife that shouldn't exist. So I guess there'll be days like this when the project is successful, but it still feels like we lost. I'm guessing we're That's because Wu's a jerk. Wu were up to something. Something that was potentially dangerous and irresponsible. I knew I had to watch then. Am I going to have to start watching you as well? Hey, hey, don't let me in. Don't let me in with those two idiots. I'm the one who I oppose this. I am. I'm only doing this for the continuity sake. Now you'll excuse me. It's time to get rid of my dangerous creations in the safest. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stupid dinosaur. Oh, wait, wait, it's not in there. Oh, 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 oh that's that's good. That's good. Okay, this is the video is about over, so let's end this out what, oh, by watching these two vicious animals fight to the death. Dennis the Menace versus Zaya the Velociraptor. Who will win and who will die? My money's on the raptor, on the Velociraptor. Until next time, people, we are headed to e Isla Pina, and this has been Jungle Guy signing off, and oh, oh, Dennis is on the Menace. Dennis is being menaced. Dennis is being menaced, and it's a kill! Good night, everybody!